All right, this is my Grizzly 12 inch by 36 inch gap bed gearhead engine lathe. I got from Grizzly. I got a South Bend stand on it because it's got drawers and cabinets. It was a little more expensive. Okay, my only problems with this lathe was two things. First of all, the threading dial right here was off. It would engage like in the center of the lines. So I had to shim that and machine a spacer. That was no big deal, but it's gotta be spot on in case you're threading in a waste somewhere. Secondly, to get the twist out of the bed, the South Bend had an Allen down in here and the whole bed would rock with two Allens and you could get it straight. This you have to shim. You gotta shim it. You gotta bolt it down, check it, unbolt it, shim it, bolt it down, check it. It's a pain. That South Bend was no problem, but that's another $10,000. I put a DRO on here. It works great from Grizzly. This was a little difficult to mount. The cross feed sensor, I had to drill into the uh, dovetail area and thread it. But I mean, it squeezes in there barely, but it does work. And I've done two modifications on here. They work really good. Here's one of them. It's like a turret lathe with this. You got rack and pinion there, got from McMaster Car. You make a base. It doesn't have to be perfectly level. All that matters is this matches up to that. You see here, I got a little heim joint I put in there. And you got a pin, there you go. And it's for peck drilling, it's fantastic. So you got the lever out here for levers, then when you're going real fast in or out, you grab this guy and it goes fast and unhooks in a second. If you've got to do a certain depth, I came up with this. It's just a long electronic caliper that I took apart. I zero that and I got this, which has a magnet on it. That sits right there. So now, when you do this, you'll see, there you go. You can, you can drill to an exact depth. It's very easy, it zeroes easy. This moves around for however long your piece is, and then you take it off. Once again, McMaster car for the gears. You, this was a handle for a Kurt Vice. The rest you gotta make up yourself. You gotta be able to weld it, but it's fairly simple. Works fantastic. The other modification was this down here. This I hooked up to the feed. On, on my south bend, this was the right gearing to go straight on to the bar. With this, I had to use this. It's a torque multiplier, and I put it in backwards. It's for taking lugs off. I got it through a JC Whitney, cheap. It's got a 4.71 gear ratio in it. So when I turn this on, You'll notice how fast this is turning and how fast that turning. It's almost five to one. It needed that in order to get this to feed. See it feeding? You speed it up like this, turn it up. As fast as you need to. And then you can stop, change it and reverse. Like if you're doing knurling or something, you can just reverse it. You don't have to stop, change gears in the head. That's a pain in the ass. So this thing works really great. Amazon has these for about 130 bucks. Um, you've got to do some machining in here. Here's a mount. You got to mount it down here. This keeps it from torquing. Um, there's the gears in here, the brass gears. You had to machine a shaft and then this goes over the shaft with grease in it so that uh, that rolls smooth uh, I had to drill the end of this bar I did it with bushings smaller and bigger and bigger so I could put a th the end of a 3 8 extension in there with the male end out because it takes the male end of a 3 8 and it comes out here as a male half inch so your female half inch welds on here and now you've got your drive you need this piece right here is the torque plate that is hardened steel. Don't try and cut that with a saw. It's got to be abrasive. But then if it goes against here, now I got, I got my torque for this. That's where it gets this extra power from. So 
These are easy to do. You got to do a little bit of figuring, machining, but these are fantastic upgrades that work really, really great. And especially for drilling, because you're constantly peck drilling, to lock this down and unlock it and do the wheel is a pain in the ass. So this is very quick, very simple. Uh, let me see some comments below. If you want me to go into more details, I could get part numbers and what have you, but the rest, you gotta pretty much figure it out yourself. But when you do, it works fantastic. All right, thank you.